The casting process for the 1978 movie, Coming Home, was a thoughtful journey. The film's producers sought out talented actors who could bring depth and authenticity to their characters. Jane Fonda, who played the lead role of Sally Hyde, was a natural choice. With her extensive acting experience, she was able to portray the character's emotional journey with sensitivity and grace. John Voight, who played Luke Martin, was cast after a series of auditions. The producers were looking for an actor who could convey the character's physical and emotional pain as well as his resilience. Voight's audition demonstrated his ability to do just that. Bruce Dern, who played the role of Bob Hyde, underwent a series of chemistry tests with Fonda and Voight. The producers wanted to ensure that the dynamic between the three characters was believable and impactful. Dern's ability to create tension and conflict with the other actors sealed his casting. The casting of Coming Home was not just about finding talented actors, but also about creating a cohesive ensemble. The producers were looking for actors who could bring out the best in each other and create a compelling narrative. Through a series of auditions, chemistry tests, and careful consideration, they were able to achieve just that. The director of Coming Home, Hal Ashby, brought a unique vision to life in this classic anti-war film. Ashby's approach was deeply personal, influenced by his own experiences and beliefs. He sought to create a genuine and empathetic portrayal of the human cost of war. Ashby's style was characterized by his willingness to take risks and challenge conventions. He employed innovative techniques, such as using handheld cameras to capture intimate moments, and encouraged his actors to explore their characters' emotions in depth. This creative freedom allowed the cast to deliver powerful and nuanced performances. Collaboration was key to Ashby's process. He worked closely with his cast and crew, fostering a supportive and collaborative environment. This collaborative spirit was evident in the film's production, with many scenes being improvised and refined through collective input. Coming Home was also influenced by the socio-political climate of the time. The Vietnam War was a controversial and divisive issue, and Ashby sought to explore the impact of this conflict on soldiers and their families. The film's raw and emotional portrayal of the consequences of war resonated with audiences and critics alike. In conclusion, Hal Ashby's directorial vision for Coming Home was deeply personal, innovative, and impactful. His collaborative approach and willingness to take risks resulted in a powerful and enduring film that continues to resonate today. In 1978, a powerful movie named Coming Home hit the screens. This film tells the story of a disabled Vietnam War veteran and his struggle to adjust to civilian life. The movie stars three classic Hollywood actors John Voight, Jane Fonda, and Bruce Stern. Who was your favorite among them? Coming Home is a roller coaster of emotions filled with funny, shocking, and sad moments. As we journey through this classic, you'll discover fascinating facts about the film and its stars. So, stay tuned. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to coming home? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and let's reminisce together. In the late 1970s, the production of Coming Home took audiences by storm with its compelling storyline and impressive set designs. The film was mainly shot on location at Camp Pendleton, a major Marine Corps base south of Los Angeles, California. This choice of setting provided authenticity to the military backdrop of the movie. However, filming at an active Marine Corps base came with unique logistical challenges. The crew had to coordinate closely with base officials, adhering to strict security protocols while ensuring minimal disruption to ongoing operations. Additionally, they faced limitations regarding where and when they could shoot, necessitating meticulous planning and flexibility. To create realistic sets depicting various parts of the base, including barracks and hospitals, the art department drew inspiration from actual facilities. They paid close attention to details like wall colors, furniture arrangements, and equipment placement to maintain historical accuracy and enhance viewer immersion. One notable challenge involves simulating the aftermath of a battlefield injury for Jane Fonda's character. To achieve this effect convincingly, the special effects team designed a complex rig that combined hydraulics and mechanical components. Although not a novel technique at the time, it required precise calibration and operation to guarantee safety and realism during filming. Despite these hurdles, the cast and crew delivered a cinematic masterpiece that has stood the test of time. Today, Coming Home remains cherished among cinema enthusiasts, serving as both entertainment and a poignant reflection of the human cost of war. Coming Home, released in 1978, 
explores the emotional turmoil of the Vietnam War through the lives of three individuals. The film focuses on Sally Hyde, played by Jane Fonda, whose husband, Bob Hyde, serves in the war. Meanwhile, Luke Martin, portrayed by John Voight, returns home after being injured in combat. As the story unfolds, Sally volunteers at a veteran's hospital, where she meets Luke. Their friendship blossoms into love, leading Sally to question her loyalty to her absent husband. Simultaneously, Luke struggles to adjust to civilian life, grappling with physical disability and PTSD. Jane Fonda delivers a powerful performance as Sally, capturing the character's internal conflict between duty and desire. Her transformation from a military wife to an independent woman is both compelling and thought-provoking. Bruce Dern's portrayal of Bob Hyde adds depth to the narrative, highlighting the devastating impact of war on families left behind. However, it is John Voight's riveting depiction of Luke Martin that truly steals the show. His raw emotion and vulnerability bring attention to the plight of disabled veterans. The film also addresses broader societal issues surrounding the anti-war movement and civil rights. By weaving these themes into the narrative, Coming Home becomes more than just a romance, it's a reflection of America during a tumultuous period. Despite its heavy themes, Coming Home offers moments of levity and hope. Scenes between Sally and Luke are filled with warmth and humor, providing relief from the otherwise somber tone. Additionally, the soundtrack features iconic songs from the era, further immersing viewers in the setting. Overall, Coming Home is a poignant exploration of love, loss, and healing amidst the backdrop of war. Its powerful message continues to resonate today, making it a must-watch for anyone interested in American cinema history. In the 1978 movie Coming Home, the score and soundtrack play a crucial role in complementing the narrative and emotional tone. The music, composed by Bill Conti, subtly enhances the film's exploration of love, loyalty, and the human cost of war. Conti's score is a blend of traditional orchestral music and contemporary sounds, reflecting the film's blend of the past and the present. The main theme, Coming Home, is a gentle, poignant melody that captures the longing and eventual reunion of the main characters. It's a tune that resonates with the audience, mirroring the characters' emotions and the film's themes. The soundtrack also includes popular songs from the late 1960s and early 1970s, a time period relevant to the film's setting. These songs not only provide a historical context, but also help to establish the characters' personalities and experiences. For instance, the use of folk and protest songs reflects the anti-war sentiment of the time, while rock and roll tunes add a sense of youthful rebellion. Interestingly, the film's soundtrack was not initially well received. Some critics felt that the pop songs distracted from the film's serious themes. However, over time, the soundtrack has been recognized for its contribution to the film's emotional impact. Conti's work on Coming Home earned him an Academy Award for Best Original Score. His ability to create music that subtly yet powerfully enhances the film's narrative and emotional tone is a testament to his skill as a composer. In conclusion, the score and soundtrack of Coming Home are integral to the film's success. They provide a rich emotional backdrop, enhancing the narrative and the characters' experiences. The blend of orchestral music and popular songs creates a unique soundscape that resonates with the audience, making this classic film even more memorable. In the making of Coming Home, Tim Pelt played his last acting role before meeting a tragic end in a car accident just five months prior to the film's release. The character he portrayed added depth to the storyline, leaving behind a legacy in this classic. Jane Fonda, who starred as Vi in the movie, initially expressed interest in casting Meryl Streep for the same role. However, things didn't materialize as planned since Streep had already committed herself to another project, a stage production. One memorable scene towards the end features John Voight delivering a heartfelt speech to high school students. Interestingly, these passionate lines were entirely improvised by Voight himself, contributing significantly to the emotional impact of this unforgettable moment in the film. One of the most memorable scenes in Coming Home takes place when Sally Hyde, played by Jane Fonda, visits her husband Bob in the hospital after he has been injured in Vietnam. As they sit together on his bed, she begins to read aloud from a letter written by one of his fellow soldiers. This poignant scene highlights the stark contrast between the idealized image of war and its brutal reality. Director Hal Ashby uses close-ups to capture the raw emotion on both actors' faces, drawing viewers into their pain and isolation. Jane Fonda recalls how this particular scene resonated deeply with audiences during that time period. 
People were hungry for stories about real people dealing with real issues related to Vietnam. There was so much confusion, anger, sadness around fear. Topic, and I think our film tapped into those feelings. Another powerful moment occurs towards the end of the movie, when Luke Martin, who also suffered injuries in Vietnam, reveals his true self to Sally. Confined to a wheelchair due to paralysis below the waist, Luke shares his fear of being seen as less than whole, a common concern among disabled veterans. Through carefully chosen camera angles and lighting techniques, cinematographer Haskell Wexler emphasizes Luke's vulnerability while simultaneously highlighting his strength and resilience. Reflecting on this pivotal scene, Voight notes we wanted to challenge perceptions about what it means to be disabled to me. Luke's story represents hope amidst despair, love overcoming adversity. These iconic scenes serve as testaments to the power of cinema in exploring complex social issues, offering insightful commentary on the human condition, and prompting meaningful conversations among viewers. By weaving together compelling narratives and authentic performances, Coming Home transcends its historical context and remains relevant today. In the world of film, some actors consistently deliver standout performances in critically acclaimed movies. Take, for instance, Jane Fonda and Bruce Dern. Fonda has starred in three films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, including Coming Home, Julia, and On Golden Pond. Despite her continued acting career, she hasn't appeared in a Best Picture nominee since 1981. Meanwhile, Bruce Dern has also made a name for himself in the industry, with four films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. These include Coming Home, Django Unchained, Nebraska, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Interestingly, Fonda and her Coming Home co-stars, Jack Lemmon and Michael Douglas, have all won Oscars for leading roles. Fonda won for Clute and Coming Home, Lemmon for Save the Tiger, and Douglas for Wall Street. These actors' impressive careers and award-winning performances have left an indelible mark on the film industry, with their work resonating with audiences and critics alike. Released in 1978, Coming Home made a significant splash in both the cinematic and societal spheres. This powerful film touched the hearts of many, sparking conversations and influencing popular culture. The movie revolves around three individuals entangled in the tumultuous aftermath of the Vietnam War. Its realistic portrayal of soldiers grappling with physical injuries and psychological scars struck a chord with audiences who could relate to these experiences or sought better understanding. Coming Home also dared to challenge conventional norms by featuring strong female protagonists pushing back against gender stereotypes. These characters demanded respect and equality, inspiring viewers to reassess traditional roles and expectations. Moreover, the film fearlessly tackled controversial topics like anti-war sentiments during that era. By presenting different perspectives, it encouraged dialogue surrounding warfare's true costs and implications. As a result, Coming Home left an indelible mark on American society. Through its compelling storyline and nuanced characters, it opened up avenues for discussing critical issues while contributing to changing attitudes towards women and veterans. Even today, this classic remains pertinent reminding us of our past struggles and triumphs. Coming Home is deeply associated with Jane Fonda, who drove its creation over six years. Initiated in 1972, she enlisted Nancy Dowd to create a compelling story criticizing us policy regarding the Vietnam War. Fonda's influence extended beyond just acting. Her commitment brought the production to fruition. The film faced varying levels of scrutiny concerning sexual content compared to later releases like Boys Don't Cry and The Cooler, Despite featuring explicit material, such as an intimate oral sex scene resulting in female pleasure, Coming Home received an R rating from the MPA. Interestingly enough, films with comparable scenes produced during the 1990s and early 2000s were initially tagged with stricter NC-17 ratings. Moreover, cinematographer Haskell Wexler contributed his exceptional skills to several successful projects, including Coming Home. Amongst his many achievements are two Best Picture Oscars, for In the Heat of the Night, and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, along with five additional nods. His work on this classic further solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most talented artists behind the camera. Released in 1978, the movie Coming Home received a warm critical reception and impressive accolades. John Voight's portrayal of a disabled Vietnam War veteran was widely praised, earning him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Jane Fonda, who played a military wife that falls in love with Voight's character, also received an Academy Award for Best Actress. The film was recognized for its sensitive and realistic depiction of the emotional 
and physical challenges faced by veterans during and after the war. Critics appreciated the movie's even-handed approach to the complexities of the war and its impact on soldiers and their families. Coming Home was also honored with the Golden Globe Award for Best Drama Motion Picture. Bruce Dern, who played Fonda's husband and a decorated Marine officer, received a nomination for Best Actor in a Drama. These awards and nominations not only recognized the exceptional performances of the cast, but also highlighted the movie's significance in addressing important social issues. The film served as a reminder of the sacrifices made by soldiers and their families during the Vietnam War and the need for compassion and understanding in their rehabilitation and reintegration into society. The accolades bestowed upon coming home were a testament to the film's enduring impact and resonance, underscoring the movie's value as a classic in American cinema. In the world of film, declining a role in a movie can sometimes lead to great opportunities for other actors. This was the case for the movie Coming Home in 1978, where Sylvester Stallone, Jack Nicholson, and Al Pacino all turned down the part of Luke Martin. The role eventually went to John Voight, who had already made a name for himself in the industry. In fact, as of 2015, Voight had appeared in three films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, including Coming Home, Midnight Cowboy, and Deliverance. Meanwhile, Jane Fonda, who played the lead female role in Coming Home, went on to establish a foundation in 1994 dedicated to reducing adolescent pregnancy. The Georgia Campaign for Adolescent Pregnancy Prevention advocates for safe sex education, provides support personnel for teenage mothers, and runs a network of second chance homes that help teenage mothers become self-sufficient. It's fascinating to see how the cast and crew of Coming Home have made significant contributions to the film industry and beyond. Who knows what impact this movie had on the lives of its actors and the causes they support. In the making of Coming Home, there were many memorable moments that showcased the dedication and camaraderie of the cast and crew. For instance, the film's lead actress, Jane Fonda, was so committed to her role that she spent hours researching and understanding the experiences of disabled veterans. She even visited veterans' hospitals to observe and interact with the patients, which greatly enriched her performance. During the filming of a particularly emotional scene, John Voight, who played a paraplegic veteran, recalls being so immersed in his character that he accidentally broke a prop wheelchair. Instead of pausing the scene, Voight continued to deliver his lines, relying on his co-star support to keep the scene going. The film's director, Hal Ashby, was known for his unique and unconventional approach to storytelling. He often encouraged improvisation and collaboration among the cast and crew, which led to some truly memorable and authentic moments in the film. One such moment occurred during the filming of a scene between Fonda and Voight where their characters share a dance. Ashby asked the two actors to ad-lib the scene, resulting in a heartwarming and genuine moment between the characters that added depth and emotion to the film. Despite the challenges of filming a movie about such a heavy and sensitive topic, the cast and crew of Coming Home remained dedicated and committed to telling an important and compelling story. Their hard work and dedication paid off as the film went on to receive critical acclaim and numerous awards, including three Academy Awards. In 1978, the big screen saw Penelope Milford deliver her sole Oscar-nominated performance in a compelling drama. That same year, two actors who had previously worked together in a Western film were reunited in another project. Bruce Dern and Robert Carradine featured in The Cowboys and later in Django Unchained. Interestingly, the moving spotlight of awards recognition turned towards tales of the Vietnam War that year. Alongside The Deer Hunter, which took home the Best Picture accolade, stood coming home. Both movies brought attention to the harrowing experiences faced by those involved in the conflict. While each film approached the topic differently, they equally resonated with audiences during that time. Delving into themes of trauma, camaraderie, and survival against all odds, these stories left indelible marks on cinema history. Released in 1978, Coming Home made a significant impact on film history. This powerful drama explored themes of love, loyalty, and the human cost of war. Its innovative approach to storytelling influenced many directors and producers who followed. The movie dared to challenge societal norms, presenting complex relationships and raw emotions that resonated deeply with audiences. Its unforgettable performances by Jane Fonda, John Voight, and Bruce Dern contributed to its success and earned several Academy Awards. Following Coming Home, films began featuring more authentic portrayals of soldiers returning home after conflicts. 
Subsequent productions like Born on the Fourth of July and The Hurt Locker drew inspiration from this classic, tackling challenging subjects with sensitivity and realism. Moreover, Coming Home paved the way for character-driven stories focusing on personal growth rather than conventional plotlines. Filmmakers recognize the potential of delving into emotional depths, often overlooked in favor of action or special effects. Consequently, we see an increased emphasis on meaningful narratives over spectacle in modern cinema. Examining the broader picture, one can argue that Coming Home played a crucial role in shaping today's film landscape where nuanced storytelling thrives. By pushing boundaries and exploring sensitive topics, it left behind a rich cinematic heritage inspiring generations to come. In 1978, the movie Coming Home made a significant impact in the film industry. It was nominated for major awards in all categories, including Best Picture, Director, Actor, Actress, Supporting Actor, Supporting Actor, Supporting Actress, and Screenplay. The film took home the awards for Best Screenplay, and both lead acting categories, a remarkable feat. The movie also found its place among the top 100 America's greatest love stories, as recognized by the American Film Institute in 2002. This recognition speaks volumes about the film's enduring appeal and its ability to resonate with audiences even today. Interestingly, the opening scene where the vets in the hospital are talking was not scripted. Instead, real Vietnam vets were invited to share their own views about the war. The scene was a powerful reminder of the film's commitment to authenticity and respect for the experiences of those who served. John Voight, one of the lead actors, was supposed to add to the dialogue, but out of respect for his fellow vets, he chose to stay silent and listen. This moment speaks to the film's ability to create a space for honest conversation and reflection, even in the face of difficult and complex issues. In short, Coming Home is a classic film that has left an indelible mark on the film industry and on the hearts of audiences around the world. Its commitment to authenticity, respect for individual experiences, and powerful storytelling continue to resonate with viewers today. In the initial stages of production for Coming Home, director Hal Ashby originally cast Guthrie Thomas as Bill Munson. However, after Thomas expressed his belief that the role required a more skilled actor, Ashby agreed and replaced him with Robert Carradine. The film is notable for its candid exploration of sexual relationships between abled and disabled individuals, a topic rarely addressed directly in cinema up until that point. Earlier films might have hinted at or sidestepped the issue entirely, but Coming Home confronted it head-on. One young actor who made a significant impression in this classic was Mark McClure, playing a high school class president despite being only 21 years old at the time. His performance added authenticity to the storyline, enhancing the overall viewer experience. In 1978, a powerful drama called Coming Home hit the screens, featuring four Academy Award winners Jane Fonda, John Voight, Hal Ashby and Haskell Wexler. Also included were two Oscar nominees, Bruce Dern and Penelope Milford. The story unfolds in 1968, immersing viewers in the tumultuous era of the Vietnam War. This classic has left a lasting impression, earning its spot among the 400 films nominated for the AFI's Top 100 Greatest American Movies in 1998. With its gripping plot and exceptional performances, Coming Home remains a must-watch for any cinephile delve deeper into this unforgettable tale, brought to life by some of Hollywood's finest talents. In the movie Coming Home, Bruce Dern and Penelope Milford share a common background, having both graduated from New Trier High School in Winnetka, Illinois. Surprisingly, military protocol in the film shows troopers usually took rest and recuperation trips alone, heading to places like Hawaii, a more accessible and affordable option compared to Hong Kong. Interestingly, before starring together in this classic, Dern and co-star Jane Fonda had already worked together in They Shoot Horses, don't they? Back in 1969. Jane Fonda considers Coming Home as one of her finest works, sharing this distinction with a few other films in her career. This classic stands out for its powerful depiction of the human experience during the Vietnam War era. In 1978, Coming Home became the only film to receive nominations for both Best Actor and Best Actress Oscars that year. This accomplishment speaks to the film's ability to attract and showcase top talent in the industry. David Clennon, who played a significant role in Coming Home, has appeared in four films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, including this classic. His recurring presence in acclaimed films highlights his ability to contribute to impactful and memorable productions. Coming Home, a 1978 film, 
features a powerful storyline that mirrors real-life connections. John Voight's portrayal of Luke Martin, initially inspired by paralyzed Vietnam veteran Ron Kovic, adds a layer of authenticity. The character's affair with Bruce Stern's wife adds an unexpected twist, as Voight's real-life daughter Angelina Jolly later found herself in a parallels with Laura Dern in a personal drama that echoed the film's narrative. Jane Fonda's directorial aspirations for the Vietnam set tale led to Schlesinger's eventual decision, showcasing the intricate weaving of real life and art. This classic film explores the aftermath of war in a way that still resonates with audiences today. Did Coming Home leave a lasting impression on you? This classic has touched many hearts since its release in 1978, shedding light on the emotional toll of war through relatable characters. Maybe you felt moved by the powerful performances or found yourself reflecting on the story long after the credits rolled. If so, we would love to hear about it. Share your favorite moments or what this film means to you personally. How did this movie influence your perception of cinema? Perhaps it introduced you to new genres or made you appreciate thoughtful storytelling. By engaging with each other, we can create a vibrant community celebrating our shared passion for movies like these. If you enjoyed reminiscing about this classic, don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts with friends who may also have fond memories of coming home. Join us by subscribing for more cinematic discussions. Together, let's celebrate the magic of movies.